All right, Zat Love Clark. Let me set up my camera and test it out. Let's see where I'm going to be at. All right. So, Zat Love Clark, good morning. Yes, I have the uh, Bible, the old Bible out. And uh, I'm going to try to read the scripture for you guys because I see... Yesterday, I wanted to bring to you uh, some scripture from Jeremiah, the great book of Jeremiah, because prophecies are not one time fulfilled. Prophecies run in cycles. If you didn't know, prophecies are for yesterday, today, tomorrow, and they can be refulfilled just like history repeats itself, so can prophecies. Okay? And then certain prophecies has a complete total end, which will all accumulate at the end. But that's for another day. Where I want to point out, I, I want to read Jeremiah because I believe Jeremiah is telling us the times that we live in right now. It's sharing the times we live in right now. Okay, so I'm going to read a chapter in Jeremiah and expound on that, okay? Uh, as much as I can, okay, as, as well as I can, with a little bit of Christian identity mixed in so we can see who these possible nations are today. Okay, you got to know, here's the thing, you got to know in the Bible, if you want to know end times prophecy, and you want to know, the, if you want to know the scriptures in general, and who the people are, you got to know who they were then, you got to figure out who they are today. You can trace them. Okay? But knowing who they were, who, identifying who these people are, the modern descendants of these people, is important if you're going to study this. Because these people are still, these tribes are still out walking, talking, and doing the same shit they've been doing. We've all been doing. Which is, is, turning away from the truth and the rightness of, of uh, God's uh, instructions, which are only good, and taking His Word, <clears throat> perverting it to our own end. Okay, But, Jeremiah, I wanted to share with you because it's very uh, close to home. Okay? And, um, like I said, understanding who the tribes are, you won't know what they're talking about unless you start putting modern names on these. Because when people read this, all they do is see these old tribal names and stuff, and these old, uh, these old tribes and civilizations and peoples who don't exist as they are in name in this world anymore. But they are still, you can still identify these people, okay, today. These people, these nations. And a lot of times when they're talking about people or they're talking about Israel or something like that, you got to realize too, sometimes they're talking about where Israel is today. Not It's not always talking about their land. And the Holy Land, the land promised, the inherited land, flowing with milk and honey, some people just assume that was just Israel. No. That was not just Palestine. That was the United States. That was Britain. That was all these... United States is the world's breadbasket, okay? So it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, a place that people want to take. And it's an inheritance we've squandered. That's something I believe, okay? As a nation, we don't even know who we are as, as it pertains to the ten tribes. But I'm going to put a little bit of Christian identity with this, what I call Christian identity, or uh, British Israelitism, whatever you want to call it, okay? It's kind of very similar, depends on your teacher. But, you know, some of these people identify the tribes, but they don't identify serpent seed, and, you know, they won't call out Freemasons, but that's another story, okay? So let's start in Jeremiah, okay? The word of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, the priests that were in Anna, Ananit, Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin, 
to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. Now I'm going to try to <clears throat> pause here. I'm going to try to uh, put in Yahweh's name where it says Lord. But if I forget, I'm sorry. You know, forgive me, God, and forgive me, people. <clears throat> don't let me think. You know, don't believe me to be a hypocrite just because I slip back into using Lord. It's very hard to eliminate and to place back in place back in Yahweh's true name. Okay? Because they took it out. So if they took it out, then we can put it back in. Because it says not to take away anything. Okay. He came in the days of Jer Jerohokam, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Now, of course, Judah is always being uh, captive, carried away, you know, and then released because, because they won't they won't follow God. They won't continue to keep uh, the promises that they made. He made promise and covenant with them, and they keep breaking it. He keeps his end every time. You can understand why he's frustrated with these people and this lot. But you're going to see how, just how much God is disgusted with Judah and Israel. Neither one. The ten tribes and the other three. Okay, They're all guilty. And they're going to get their... They are actually getting the worst punishment in this world because these are going to be the Christians, modern Christians, and Jews. Okay? And they're going to mention some Muslim in here. Okay? In my opinion. Let's go on. I'm just giving you a foreword, so you might be interested to continue. Okay? Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before. I formed you in the belly. I knew you. Now I, it says thee. I'm going to say you. Okay. Because thee confuses people. And before you. And actually I'll just read it as is. Because then that's going to confuse too. But the Lord part I will try to take out. Let's care, carry on. I am so sorry. Forgive me. Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee. And before they came it's forced out of the womb. I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Pause. Now, nations. Everyone go, Oh, all the nations of the world. Eh, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Red and yellow, black and blue. Jesus loves me more than you. That's what they're going to say. Okay, They're going to say, This is the nations, the whole world. United Nations. Right? Because Jesus loves the little children. Okay. This is not nations as of they try to spin it today. Okay? This is the 12 tribes. Or the 10. If you want to call it the 10 or the 12. Because they're separate. <clears throat> That's what most people don't realize. Israel and Judah are separate to this day. Some claim, oh, they're reunited, the prophecy's fulfilled. No, it's not. Okay? Don't believe that. And they think that when Christ was crucified and then had the three days and had a spiritual or physical, whatever resurrection you want to call it, that uh, this was all fulfilled for us. And it's not. There was still more to come. For you. Then said I, O oh, Yahweh God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But Yahweh said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command that thee, thou shalt speak. Do you think I want to speak a lot of this unpopular words and talk? And be like, not Oh, yeah, with it, with Trump or, or Hillary or one of these people? No. It's very attractive to be the popular and, and go with the flow and get 
get with the the uh, hour of hate or the minute of hate, you know, uh, when it's time to get all riled up with your patriotism and all your bullshit, okay? Whether you're supporting either side, the problem is they're both in on it. The problem is your vote doesn't matter. The problem is you're not listening to God. Or, uh, you'll see your country is going to be going downhill. History repeats itself, so does prophecy. If you can identify who the people were then, you can identify who they are now. You find out what was happening then, you'll find out what's going to happen now. Okay. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says Yahweh. Deliver means protect. Okay. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said to me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Boy, that's a lot. First, you have, he has to... He said over nations and over the kingdoms. Like I said earlier, why do you think they're now down further that there is this distinction between nations and kingdoms because God's talking about the nations of Israel and then the rest of the kingdoms of the world see you understand now people don't get confused when it talks about nations sometimes it's talking about the Gentiles but you got to realize Gentiles are the lost tribes okay Gentile is a really a goy term of endearment for, for uh, God. The Goy really is, it, it's, okay, Goyim, you're, you got to understand what those mean. People misunderstand that. That's one thing Queenie and Cameron and Keith Twoof was right about, okay? The, the word Goy. It doesn't, it's, it, it's just that they were the, the Jews using these words to make fun of their, their brothers, the Israel, the northern tribe, okay? You guys think I'm nuts? That's all right. I'm related to the Joneses and the Snowdens, so it doesn't matter. So if I told you that before, you'd think I was nuts. If I, if I, if I tell you that, you think I'm crazy. If I don't tell you that, you think I'm crazy when you find out. So it doesn't matter. I have a hard time getting credibility being related to those people. But let's move on, okay? Okay, so see, I have, now we're going to go over this again because it says, see, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, okay, so that means tear out, and to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, and to build, and to plant. So that's one, two, three, four five six steps God's gonna take right there first of all he tells us right there six steps he's gonna take root out pull down destroy throw down build and to plant all those words root out pull down destroy and throw down boy they all pretty much mean the same thing so it's like basically destroy 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 a lot of destruction coming okay but at the end there is light at the end of the tunnel because it says to build and to plant okay moreover the word of the lord came on yahweh the moreover the word of yahweh came unto me saying jeremiah what seest thou and i said i see a rod of an almond tree then said Yahweh unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of Yahweh came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? What do you see? And I said, I see a seething pot, a boiling pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil 
shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the family, families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord, and they shall come, and they shall set every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judah. Families of the kingdoms of the north. Who can you guess that is when I just uh, mentioned it earlier? Okay, The ten tribes, the northern tribes. That's who he's talking about. Israel. So when you guys go, oh, though, you mean those Jews down in Israel? You're talking about that Israel? No. You don't even know who Israel is. And this is identifying him. Okay, this, this is a very... Jeremiah is a book for very good for identification of Hebrew Israelite, white Israelites, okay? And I guarantee you there's way much more evidence for white Hebrew Israelites than there is for the black Hebrew Israelite movement. Way more. Way more. They are they're reading into way more. We've got more historical documentation, language, structure, all that. Uh, the serpent and trail of Dan. That leave behind all the signs, the Zions, the signposts along the way as they moved up into Europe, okay, and settled there and became the, the people they are called today. Britain, Ireland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Germany, okay, Russia, especially Russia. Now, let's see, uh, the reason why I mention this is because the more that you can know about who these people are today, the better off you'll be if you're reading this, okay? Much more, you get much more insight, and you'll get much more understanding if you uh, know who they are, okay? So, let's continue. And I will utter my judgments against them. Now he's talking about Judah. And, uh, well, he must have, he mentioned her up here about the, the families of the kingdoms of the north and uh, Judah. So maybe he's mentioning Judah. Maybe he's just talking about both of them. <coughs> Let's see. Let's see and find out. And I will utter my judgments against them. Touching all their wickedness who have forsaken me and burned incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. Works of their own hands. First of all, who do these people sound like? Sound like to me. Well, first of all, if you're just a mainstream Christian, you're going to think a uh, Satanist, a uh, devil worshiper, a uh, witchcraft person, right? But really, this is uh, Christianity. This is, well, Catholic, Roman Catholic practice, what you would call this, okay? And it's anyone that's still pr practicing any kind of watered-down Catholic, basically Protestant faith, you're still following Catholic. Even if you're not worshiping Mary, statues, going to confessionals, or those kind of things that you say, you know, like being baptized as a baby as opposed to choosing by, by your own uh, accord, okay? But... That doesn't make Protestants right. What I'm saying is you're still wrong. And you're still worshiping foreign gods because you're calling Jesus. You're calling the Son of God Zeus. Hell Zeus. Okay? Do you understand what I'm trying to say, please? Thank you. This is for you guys. This is for you to know. I utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness who have forsaken me. And have burned incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. Wooden idols, crosses, crucifixes, uh, candles, statues, the works of their own hands. Uh, the works of your own hands could even be you uh, uh, being a pillar in the community, which is not a bad thing, but I'm saying that everything can become an idol, okay, an idol. The works of your own hands. Being a pastor feeds the community, hands out free food. Okay? 
the works of your own hands. Okay. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise. Gird up your loins. What does that mean? Pull your freaking nuts up. Ball up, men. All right. Show your balls. Because that's what I, I see. Now you can tell me that I'm being really uh, graphic. Well, so is God. And arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I can confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Obviously, he's, not, he's talking to the northern tribes to come and be against Judah. Okay? Moreover, the word of, the, of Yahweh came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou went after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. Okay. He's talking about early on in the relationship, before they started... Uh, following back, backsliding. You know, it was early on in their relationship. Israel was holiness set apart unto Yahweh and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, say Yahweh. Hear ye the word of Yahweh, O house of Jacob, white people. And all the families of the house of Israel. So all the white families in Israel. Okay. Thus saith Yahweh. You don't like it? You know what? Do your own. Um, do a little bit of your own studying. Of, uh, of, of tracing these ancestry. These people. You'll find. Like I said. There's way more. Uh, for British Israelite. There's way more evidence for British Israelite. Than there is for the black Hebrew Israelite. If you're following the black Hebrew Israelite. You're mistaken very badly I'm sorry to have to tell you that's true you can deny it but you know what don't take my word for it study it find out for yourself look it up prove me wrong now but don't come on here with any black Hebrew is like crap saying oh we were enslaved here's the time here's we're Judah blah 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 I don't want to hear about that. I've seen your videos. I don't believe it. So don't don't even try it. It won't work. I'll block you. That's why I will block you. I'm tired of people from now on. I'll start blocking people. Okay? Uh, let me try to continue. continue. Because this is a... Hear ye the word of Yahweh, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. So, it's everyone in the family. Thus said Yahweh, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? Okay? They followed vanity. So what he's asking is, What, what have I done so bad, that they've, uh, they are not following me anymore, not keeping the statutes? Neither said they, Where is Yahweh that brought us up? out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country, America, to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. That could be America and Britain also, because the British Empire spread it out and uh, took over a lot of areas were uh, growing was happening took a lot of the food but when ye entered ye defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination ye ruined America ruined right here 
ye ruined my land and made my heritage, the heritage ye had for us, an abomination. We squandered our inheritance. Do you understand? This is why we're in the situation we're in now. It's the Christians' fault. It is. And this is all this is all has to come to pass. Yes. There's light at the end of the tunnel. It's not the end. Okay. The end of days. Okay? Maybe. But it doesn't mean the end of time or the end of existence or the end of reality. Okay. It just means a new beginning will come. There's gonna be a lot of dark coming though. Okay. Now let's continue. You defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. Now, let's think of this as an American Britain, okay? Maybe, probably especially America, I, I feel. The priest said, not, where is Yahweh? And that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, and walked after things that do not profit. Let's read that. The priest said, not. The priest did not say, where is Yahweh? They're not even searching for Yahweh. See? They didn't ask where he was. They didn't ask who he was. And they that handle the law, Torah, the Torah is the law. Torah, law, instruction is what it means. More than law. Okay. And they that handle the law, the Torah, knew me not. So they got the Torah in their hands and they don't know him. Hmm. Sound like someone you know? Don't call me that, okay? Because I know. The pastors also transgressed against me or sinned against me, if you like. And the prophets prophesied by Baal, by their Lord and Master Baal. Okay, who do they call out every day? Lord, 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 Lord. The title of Baal, right here. And walked after things that do not profit. Nothing that's edible, nothing that edify, edifies us. Doesn't do anything good for a growth. Even sometimes you have to tear down and build up. There's nothing there for you. This is calling out the Christians today, right here. This is Christianity, okay? Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, says Yahweh, and with your children's children will I plead. He's still going to try to reach our children to the very end, last generation, okay? My children, and even if my children has children, those children will be tried okay <clears throat> for pass over the isles of Chittim this old word I believe is for China and see and or Asia and see unto Kedar and consider diligently and see if there be such a thing hath a nation changed their gods which which are yet no, no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Have the nation changed their gods which are not that that which are yet no gods? Well, the nation, okay, let's follow the nation. Israel, Ephraim and Manasseh, they break up. Britain and America, Ephraim and Manasseh, okay. Then 400 years later, they change. Yehosha and to Jesus, okay? And, and, you know, 400 years ago they did this, okay? So haven't we done this? Has a nation cha changed their gods, which are yet no gods? Okay? You understand what I'm saying? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Glory, America, you know, red, white, and blue, right? Patriotism, freedom, right? If they, if, they, if they throw down your throat all day. Okay? 
They tell you you're free and all that. What it is, is uh, they have switched their glory. It doesn't profit us. Our glory and our pride is not good. There's a time when there's a, there is some pride that's good or pr glory that is good. When it, with your Yahweh in the right setting, okay? But this obviously says that there's no profit to this kind of glory. Okay, so we're not, we're not gaining anything. It looks like we might be gaining a lot, but we're not. Or over the years and courses, we see what it is. We've been promised an inheritance and been given it, this land <clears throat> and all these nations. But the promise is, here's the land. Now you do what you want with it. And we've squandered it and let, let it go to ruin. Okay? So, because we haven't followed our Yahweh. We haven't followed our Father. Okay? Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be horribly afraid, God's telling you. Okay? Not to be, oh, to cower in fear, but be afraid and know. Knowing. Okay? That kind of fear. Know, know the truth. Be ye very desolate, saith Yahweh. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, which is uh, the word of God. They have forsaken Yahweh and the word of God. And hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. What that is, is they've made their own religions and they made their own way of understanding God and it doesn't hold it doesn't hold up like God's like God's picture doesn't hold up compared to these broken up cisterns that don't work okay they don't they they don't hold water they leak there there's holes in their theories you understand what I'm trying to say now Jews and Christians and Muslims Abrahamics Okay. Um, I'm not saying this word is wrong. What I'm saying is there's a lot that needs to be corrected and in an understanding of it. I'm trying my best. Okay. Now, so that's that's what he's talking about. I think that they made their own religion out of what he gave them, and it's not the it's not a, a there's nothing good in it. It's just it's a false religion. You know, it's full of holes. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? That's a good question. These are questions. Is Israel a servant? No. Well, should be a servant to man, you know, because they are supposed to be a blessing. Okay? Is he a home-born slave? Is he born a slave in his own country? Well, it seems like we're starting to... Look that way here in America, the way that the, the racial tension and the backwards uh, Freemasonic left and right and in between bullcrap is just taking over everything. And uh, are we slaves in our own country? Yeah, we sure we, we sure are. Why is he spoiled? Why is he robbed? Why do we get robbed? Why, why are we robbed? That's the question. You can answer it. You answer it. He's going to answer it anyway. That's why he... Get, God asks questions and then he answers, usually. He gives the answer. The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. These could, young lions could be uh, young people, uh, African, American... Or uh, Muslim. Okay. Also the children of Noth and Nehapanes have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself? And that thou hast forsaken Yahweh thy God when he led thee by the way. The way, the truth, and the life. And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt to drink the waters of Sihor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? 
That means listening to other nations, taking part in drinking of their, of their understanding. United Nations type crap, you know. Uh, just talking to them is bitter, it's gross. Their water, to drink it in, to digest anything they have to say is, is wrong. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, and that that house forsaken Yahweh thy God, when he led thee by the way? Okay, now we're going to go back again. And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt to drink the waters of Sehor? Or hast thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken Yahweh thy God, and that my fear is not in thee saith Yahweh a God of hosts. Okay? God wants you to, that fear is a, a respect more than it is a, a oh I'm scared. You know, it's supposed to be more of a respect or you know understanding or be in awe, understanding that this is a real God. It's a real God. His prophecies has been coming true. A lot of things in science science didn't understand anything about was recorded in this way before they found out so you know people don't want to believe it they want to just say oh well whatever anyway for of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands and now says I will not transgress when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot see every time God freed them from slavery and bondment and being enslaved and burst the bands, broke their bands to free them from religion and politics and militarism, okay? And to reset it for them. Because they've been reset over and over and over. And, and, said, and thou saidst, I will not transgress. They keep saying, I won't do it again. When upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot. High hills uh, represent the Ashtoreth and um, high places, okay? Where they worship uh, pagan gods or multiple gods or whatever. Foreign gods or gods that were not Yahweh, you know. Anything other than Yahweh, he says, no. Playing the harlot, okay? being a whore to these religions. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine. A vine is a representation of a family bloodline. Okay? Holy a right seed. What is a seed, people? Come on, get with it. It's a sperm. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? How did a plant get turned into a strange vine? By mixing, breeding with the people it says not to. Okay? Race mixing. I hate to say it, it's true. If you can't read it, if you read it another way, you're a liar. Okay? For though thou have watch for though thou wash thee with nitrate and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, says Yahweh God. How can thou say I am not polluted? I have not gone after Balaam. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Thou art a swift dromedary traversing her ways. A wild ass. Oh, did oh did someone offend it out there? God just used graphic language. A wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffed up the wind at her pleasure and her occasion. Her time of mating, that's what it means. In her time of mating, who can turn her away? When she has her legs spread, God's saying, who's going to turn it away? Now, that is really what he's saying. Whether you like the way I put it or not, it's the bottom line, plain truth. And I'm speaking out to people that understand it with my language, and my understanding, and our understanding. Okay? We're not afraid to talk with God as if he's my friend, 
rather than, oh, I'm scared to say anything. He already knows your heart, stupid. Sorry to say that to people that don't understand. I'm not insulting those that know, okay? Please. I get upset and I'm ashamed of the Christian people claiming this because they're ruining God's goodness, okay? They have. They've done this. There's about five billion souls Pauline Christianity's claimed that are gone. They don't, you know, as far as I know, they don't get a, a comeback time. Okay, let's see. Our wild ass used, used to the wilderness that snuffed up the wind at her pleasure in her time of mating. Who can turn her away? All that seek her will not weary themselves. In her mouth they shall find her. In her month, oh, sorry, in her month, I said in her mouth. I was thinking, wow, I never heard of that. In her month, they shall find her. Withhold thy foot from becoming unshod. Meaning, don't let your, sh don't go barefoot, okay? And th thy throat from thirst. But thou says, there is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. Who are strangers? Who are strangers? Why does God keep talking about being upset with going after strangers? Okay, strange vines, strangers. These are races of people. These are people outside of Israel's nations. Okay, or, or Judah. There is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. Uh, they're, they're, once you go black, you can't come back. That's the saying. Am I, am I saying that's truth or, or false? I don't know. It's, is it my opinion? No, not necessarily. You know, but it, it, it's basically the gist of what they're saying. I have, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. See, there is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. So they're not going to come back. Loving the strangers. As the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of the trouble they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise that they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah, Jews. It's talking about you. Now you're going to call me anti-Semitic for speaking God's word in your own word? Go for it. You're going to look stupid. Now, what they're talking about saying to the stock, that means a tree, they are a plant, right? So they were worshipping trees or stones or, or idols, handmade idols. So they were worshipping rocks and trees, okay? They were ashamed because of their, their kings, their princes, and their priests and their prophets. Now, this is something I have a, a bone to pick with. Uh, some ch one, the, a church in particular, but that's for another day. But don't they sure, British Israelite, they sure want you to think the Queen Elizabeth is so great and, you know, her bloodline is so pure and good and that she's, she's just a, you know, a wonderful uh, Queen Mother, you know, sitting on a beautiful throne and, and holding the seed of David until the return of Christ and David himself to sit on that throne once again. What they don't tell you She's a Freemason. She's into the uh, Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Uh, Daughters of the Eastern Star. Uh, the whole, uh, you know, royal family is in on it. The priests and the prophets. So if you backing them up, keep backing them up, and and, and ignoring their the Freemasonic, the dark side, their hidden side, then you're just in denial yourself. Philadelphia, Philadelphia Church of God, okay, J 
Gerald Flurry. You understand what I'm saying, Gerald? The prophets, too. See, the problem with that church is they think, that, like the rest of the cults, that they're the ones on top, that the only way is to follow their church, and if not, you're going to go to hell, or you're going to be sent to the, the pit. That's just not true. That's just not true. Now, so he said they have just as many cities as they have gods. And he's talking to O Judah. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, said Yahweh. In vain have I smitten your children. They receive no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. He wasted the children for, for no nothing. They did not receive any correction. They wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't receive correction. Okay, Like today, I'm going to try and teach you guys about Jesus, Hell, Zeus, Yehosha, the origins of Christianity and all those such like things, and Pauline doctrine and how it's false. You won't listen. You won't receive correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets. The prophets that have prophesy the right, the truth, you usually end up killing. You don't like to hear the truth. Like a destroying lion. O generation, see ye the word of Yahweh. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? He's asking you, has he, has he been, have you been uh, by yourself? Has God always not been there? No, He's been there in a land of darkness. He never showed you any light, never showed you any truth. He's asking you, Wherefore say my people, we are lords. There's that word you'll see as a bale, a generic term. This is lowercase lord, but it still applies the same as bale. Okay? We are lords. We will come no more unto thee. Saying we're we're our own masters, we don't have, do we have to come to you. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Why are you gonna forget your heritage? Who who brought you out of the land? Who brought you into the land? Okay. Who? God, your Lord, Jesus? No. Jehovah? No. Yahweh. Yahweh did it. Okay. A bride her attire. Can a maid forget her ornaments or bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me. Days without number. Days without number. Long time. Because they left his name out, they moved his name, changed his name also. And people say, well, back then at that time, uh, that doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have known. <laughs> He's God. He can go back and forth in time. Of course he knew. He knew this would apply to today as well. So you can't go back and say, well, this doesn't apply to today because it's meant for this time. It goes in cycles. Okay? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. A long, long time forgotten. How do you forget God? First of all, you don't mention His name. My, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Why are you going to adjust your ways to go after a woman or fame to seek love? Okay, to, to seek Love meaning to seek acceptance in, in, in any arena, okay? Because, therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, okay? The women, your ways. The wicked women, okay? They're talking about inbreed mixing, okay? This is mixing. And then they're teaching 
they're teaching these ways that are uh, watered down. They're teaching their way, but it's watered down version. It's not the fullness that God God taught them. Okay, and then they're teaching it these people, and now it's just making more Babylon. Okay, also in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these. Okay. I have not found it by hunting, Sir, secret search. Okay. It was very obvious what was going on to God. You didn't have to do much investigating to figure out what was going on. Yet thou sayest, Because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Why gaddest thou about so much, so much to change thy way? Thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, as thou wast ashamed of Assyria. Yea, thou shalt go forth from him, and thy hands upon thy head, for Yahweh hath rejected thy confidences, and thou shalt not prosper in them. I think somebody's awake. And, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Pick up chapter 3 later, but I've got to take care of some business inside. My kids are waking up, so I'm going to go. And I hope that I can return quickly uh, because I want to go over more of this. And hopefully, you know, some people are waking up, waking up to the understanding and the truth of the reality that uh, you know your Christianity he's standing there you are, look in the mirror you want to see the Antichrist look in the mirror you don't know you don't know what I mean by Antichrist I'm not talking about a person it's a, it's a body of believers and uh, when the revelation says that all all people are going to be fooled and deceived you think that means when God says all de who, does, who does all mean even the very elect. That doesn't mean you always continuously be deceived. Some will recognize, awake, and rise up. Okay? So don't be afraid to rise up, but recognize you've got to walk away from Babylon. That's the first step God asks you to do is to walk away from all of this. Because you can't you can't follow him and keep that the traditions and then you can't. You, uh, it's, uh, it's counterproductive. Okay? I've got to work on it myself. But I'm trying to tell people. I, I recognize where the Word of God is valid, but if people have manipulated it and changed it around and twisted it and changed the names to God, God says if you love Him, you'll know His name. So, why have they changed around the names? Not because your Eng uh, English translation can't be understood easily. Because Jesus, hail Zeus, versus Joshua, the Savior, or the leader. Okay? Which, I mean, is Joshua hard to understand? Is Joshua hard to pronounce? No. It's a common name. So why they took out Yehosha Joshua, where it could have been Joshua, and placed in Jesus is your guess as good as mine. But it's not because the language couldn't accept it or understand, comprehend what the meaning was. That was that's baloney. That's a lie. That's bail. Alright? Love you guys. It's that love part. I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed your time with me and uh, appreciate your presence with us. Coming uh, you know, like yesterday was Saturday, today's Sunday. I'm reading on a Sunday because I wanted to read it yesterday, but I'm, a lot of people aren't even paying attention to God on Saturday, so I'm trying to reach some people on Sunday. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, <clears throat> but sometimes you've got to go out where the people are, where they are not to reach. And uh, I'm not out sa trying to save souls. That's God's, that, that's God's business, okay? I don't believe in saving souls. I don't believe in that crap. 
baloney. God does that. He just wants us to tell the truth and tell, teach his word uh, the best we can and to just know his Torah, know his instructions and follow him. The plain truth is there. It's the ma man and the traditions of man that's corrupted the understanding and the fullness of our God. Okay, so I want to end with that. All right, love you guys. Is that love, Clark? Please subscribe if you'd like. If not, still watch my videos. Uh, this Jeremiah is going about to, it's about to really start talking about what's going to happen. I mean, it's going to get deep. And it's going to be calling some people out. And you might be surprised who's going to be called out when I identify these nations and their modern settings. All right? So, love you guys. And maybe you can read ahead if you'd like. And decipher what you can. All right? So, I'm trying to do my best with what I got. And that's all God expects. An honest, an att an honest attempt. A decent step out of Babylon is the first step. And that is contact with God. That's the way to contact God is taking a step. Just taking a step. Even if it's baby steps. Walk out. Walk away. Don't look back. Do not turn into a pillar of salt. Do not get caught in a cave saying it's the end of the days and inbreeding with your children. A drunk. Okay. Because what's coming up soon, people are, are going to start getting delirious they're going to start falling falling in for these ridiculous understandings of prophecy that they don't understand and uh these uh outlandish way of interpreting these prophecies christian doomsayers and stuff are going to go once this stuff uh, darkness when it starts getting worse they're going to really start saying oh it's the end and they're going to but they don't understand that they don't understand it so they're just going to misinterpret it and run off and act all crazy because the rapture is not going to come. They're running around circles waiting for a rapture. Rapture. Wait, running in circles just waiting for a rapture. That's not going to happen. And it's like, you know, it's like a duck hunting gallery, you know. But the, they're in a big cage. And they really can't go anywhere. They, they think they're flying to get away, but they just can't. That's what it's like. All right. So it's at Love Clark. Love you guys. Study ahead and... Um, Keep up with this because it's going to get interesting. It really is. And if it's not interesting to you, then it's a wrong. You're on the wrong channel, okay? Or, or you just don't like this part of my channel. I don't mean it that way. What I meant was, if you don't have interest in the Bible, you probably will not like this channel. Or if you don't like interest in Yahweh or the scriptures or things of that nature, spiritual nature, the God nature, you won't. Uh, you really won't. You really won't uh, get much out of this channel, other than a good laugh at somebody that you think is nuts, related to some Alex Jones or Snowden people. You know, huh? Those Joneses. Let me tell you, they can be crazy. All right. So, you know, um, don't listen to nobody, not even me. But uh, you know, do your homework, research, back it up. See if you can back, you know, see if not to back me up, back up your own research, find it, see if you can find out and prove me wrong. Because if you can, I'd like to know. All right. That's what this is about. It's sharing and caring. It's don't be afraid to try to come back in love with correction. Okay. Because I have accepted correction and it, sometimes it takes time. But if you don't open your mouth, you can't speak out, then you won't, uh, then it, then there's not any room for us to iron sharpens iron, you know, and I don't like using that term, but that's how it is, okay? We cannot sharpen each other if we don't, you know, if we're not, if we're afraid to speak a different opinion or even a slight different, very opinion, okay? Don't be afraid to offend to defend, okay? You get what I'm saying? If you got something to share, don't be afraid to share it just because your opinion's different than mine. A lot of people do that. Just tell how you feel and let me know because sharing is caring, okay? Is that love, Clark? 
and this time I mean it. So love you guys, love.